Hey everybody, Jeff Dunham. I'm a comedian and also a car collector. And I have, I guess what you'd call kind of an eclectic collection of vehicles. I have some really nice cars, some amazing cars, some cars that people stop and go, wow, this is fantastic. I also have a few cars that people question what moron would actually buy this thing. One of those cars uh, that's probably been in every top worst car list of all history is one that I have, and it's a it's a version of the Ford Pinto, but it's the Pinto Cruising Wagon. And I found it on eBay, and it was just cool to me because it was something from the 70s, something in my impressionable years that I thought was kind of great back then. And as we all know, the Pinto has a, a very checkered past and a checkered history. But the Cruising Wagon was slightly different because it had that round opera window in it. they just taken a station wagon, the Pinto station wagon, and turned it into something that was supposed to be hip and kind of fun. So I got this thing on eBay and it came with the graphics on the side, uh, the cool, obviously 70s stripes and the colors and the interior was equally horrible. Most of the ads showed it in black, but this one had a red interior. I don't know who would have chosen that. And uh, we took it for a ride, and this thing was fun. And it got attention, people with thumbs up, all kinds of stuff. It was just this crazy, goofy, stupid, fun car. Look at this. That's fine. Yeah, dude, this thing's great. Oh, yeah. This is really fun. <laughs> wait, wait, oh, look out the back, though. I think we got a few. Uh, oh. Issues. <laughs> We're smoking. After doing a little more research, I found an ad from Ford. And it showed the Pinto cruising wagon, but it also showed the Ford cruising van. And I looked at this thing and I thought, well, if we got that one, we gotta find this one. <laughs> right? Absolutely. All right. Oh man, how cool would it be to recreate that ad photo? We had to find a Ford cruising van. Finding this Ford cruising van was not the easiest thing in the world. It was like finding a hen's tooth. For those who were alive back then, you know there was a huge van craze in the 70s. And uh, to have a custom van was, was pretty spectacular. Uh, and most of these vans, you'd get them empty, and then you'd have van customizers customize them the way you want it. Put shag carpet in them, you put a bar in them, you put some chairs, maybe a bed. I remember when I was 14 years old, I thought the van that was the coolest thing ever, and I told my mom I wanted a van. She about had a heart attack, because she knew what they were for. You know, the bumper stickers were uh, gas, grass, or... And uh, I didn't know what that was when I was 14. She was horrified that I wanted that van, but I thought they were cool. So we started looking for this Ford Cruising van and we couldn't, we couldn't really find a good one. It was very difficult. Most of them have been rusted out, uh, neglected, your, your typical old cars that nobody cared about after a certain uh, craze was gone. We looked on the internet, we looked on eBay, we had to join a bunch of van forums. What the hell? But we finally found the Ford Cruising van. The owner of the van was in Colby, Kansas, and unlike a lot of sellers of cars, this guy happened to be really honest. He told us exactly what we were getting, sent us every photo we wanted, every video we asked for, had the thing running. He told us where it was rusted and where it was good and where it wasn't so good. Very comfortable with the purchase, I got it. And then it showed up at the shop. All right, so here it is, 1976. Who's it, man? Yay! But to actually refurbish the thing, we had to find the guy that could do the job. Well, we turned to Dave Shutton at Galpin Auto Sports. Dave had already done work on my George Barris' hard hat hauler. The work was fantastic, and it was a lot more complicated than this van was going to be, so I knew he was the guy for the job. But before we started any work on it, we took a ride on Facebook Live. Oh, so oh close. hold on, so close. There we go. Dude, right oh, it up. sounds great. Yeah, don't change that. It's dual exhaust, right? Yeah. And of course, it's on a 70s station. But before we took that drive, we wanted to at least make sure the thing wasn't going to kill us. The rest isn't too bad. Yes, there's some rust. You got it some needs a fender things. on that side and a big hole on the side. It probably. But again, it's got over 100. It's got over 100. What? what you like he just, he's, he's got his phone out looking for parts and he's pointing out all the things. He's already at work. He started. This van has already we been restored. We have to settle on a price, Dave. <laughs> Of course we're gonna have three other bidders. I'd like to meet them. <laughs> and uh, we opened up the hood and uh, well, it was kind of an adventure. This doesn't look bad to me. Y you know what I mean? This is still factory paint in here. Uh, I, 
there's still paint over here on the sides. It's not a rusted mess. It's dirty as hell. Right, Dave? Did you look in here? Well, I don't just... see anything bad. I mean, what, we got oil? All right. I use good oil. Okay. Fine. It's empty. And now we've got a bottle of, of brake fluid. Okay. And Jim, check this, right? There's plenty yes, of brakes, yes, so we're not going to smash. Good. It's not like the Pinto cruising wagon where we almost killed ourselves. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah. <laughs> oh, come on! <laughs> oh. It's a pair of underwear? <laughs> Okay, you, you guys didn't do this. I swear. I want to see what size it is. Oh. <laughs> I think you're going to need two gloves. Oh, no. What's Haynes? What year? Oh, I don't even want to look. I think they're 1977. 36. So he wasn't giant and he wasn't tiny. But here's the question. How do... How? It's a cruising van. That's why there's underwear in it. It's a shag wagon. I'm, I'm scared of what I'm breathing right now. I know, right? <laughs> The next step was to take the van to let him go through it and make sure there weren't any surprises. So Jeff brought the van over last Friday and I've already pretty much got it blown apart. The guys are just here pulling the last couple pieces of glass out this morning. And then it's up to me to just get it all cleaned up, do some body work and get this ready for paint. I did notice that uh, when Jeff and I first saw this, we saw that, that black fade coming down from the, all the top surfaces. So I was curious, I thought somebody just was like rattle canning the black to make it look better and it, it come to find out that's the original silver that's like totally faded and the black primer coming through from underneath. So all original paint, it's only been uh, damaged in a couple little spots that we're going to take care of. But just little stuff like this, this will pull out and uh, everything will turn out fine. You know, the only real issue are the two back corners. Roll that back out and replace the rust. Everything else is solid. Cake water. To make sure the van looked just like the one in the ad, we had to match these colors. So Dave had his digital guy come over and sample the colors off the cruising wagon. This is a spectrophotometer. This will read the light and the color and create a color out of a database. So that's what we're going to do here is read the yellow, orange, purple, and the silver and then hopefully come back and give Dave a acceptable match. That means we're going to do pretty good. We're going to get very close, if not right on. Yeah, exactly. I think the biggest debate we had on this van was what to do with the round windows. Because in the first ad, they were the bubble windows just like in the Pinto cruising wagon. But stock, everything came with these flat, boring windows. So. These windows were so popular in the 70s that Ford actually put them in from the factory on this van. They're really red, except for the bubble ones are way, way cooler. Well, I made an executive decision and decided we needed it to look cool and just like the ad. So we needed those big bubble windows, but where do you find them? We couldn't. Well, there's another good reason that we hired Dave. He did it all himself. I've decided since I couldn't find the bubble windows that went on the side of the van, uh, I've exhausted every source, every resource, every person I know in three countries, couldn't find it. So I decided to make my own. So what I've done is I've created a wooden buck that is the shape of the window basically. And this is the plastic that I'm going to sandwich in between here and seal. And we're going to cook it at 400 degrees for 20, 30 minutes. I feel like I'm doing one of those cooking shows until it starts to sort of sag inside the mold. And when that happens, I'll bring it out. I will hook up some air and I will blow this thing down. And hopefully we shall have a bubble window. Woohoo! Look at that. We have a snazzy little custom van window. The second biggest debate we have was what stripe package to put on there. Again, in the ad, it showed that cool swooping stripe going all around the van. But then what came out stock was this L-shaped thing that was much easier to apply. Well, we looked and looked and looked and it looked like the only thing stock was that L-shaped. Well, again, another executive decision. Let's make it like the ad and make Dave do the hard one. We're back. 
with the finished silver paint job. We did all the body work here, Manuel and I, as you know, and decided because my booth is really small and the one at our other shop was busy that I would just have them go ahead and lay down the silver on it. They did a nice job. So now what we have to do is take these, the one photo and the one concept drawing that exists of the paint job and transfer it to this full scale and get this laid out ready for the stripes. So we do that with... Oh, Jeff's going. When they were laying out the stripes, I just happened to be on the road doing shows. So I made a call to see how the progress was going. <laughs> so where in the world is Jeff Dunham currently? I'm in Aalborg, Denmark. Oh, nice, okay. We will send you a couple pictures. I'm just now laying out the first line for the, the stripes. And uh, like the whole front end's all back on, uh, restored the grill, restored all the area under the hood and around the grill. And how did the wheels come out? Have we uh, fixed those? those uh, they are currently the getting polished. The bumpers have been chromed. They should be shipped back in the next couple days. That's great. All right. Well, I'll be home in two weeks. Can't wait to see it. Most of those graphic packages way back then were vinyl, but we wanted to do it in paint, just like the guys had done on the Pinto Cruising Wagon. So painstakingly, Dave had to lay out each stripe separately by hand. So here's the first side all laid out. Everything went well, took a little time to get everything laid down exactly like I wanted it, but it looks really rad. It's gonna be an amazing paint job. So now all that's left is to transfer everything that's on this side to the flip side, and then it's time to throw some paint on this dude. So these are the three colors for the stripes. Uh, I believe yellow is the first one that I'm gonna put on. And this is uh, what we came up with after having scanned the Pinto wagon over at Jeff's. We're ready to put some color on. Hey, man. Hi, sir. How are you? Good. Come Good to on see you. in. I, I, uh, I'm bearing presents. Woohoo! I like there presents. It's a steering wheel. It is. Sweet. I'm hoping for, oh, by the way. Yeah. Ta-da. Oh, nice. Oh, oh my gosh. gosh. These are unbelievable. They came out well. I think it looks like factory. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's the point, right? Ta-da. Oh, man. Wow. That looks just like the model. <laughs> wow, Dave, that is fantastic. Oh, that is great. <laughs> and you made these. I did. Can you see out of it from the inside? Totally. Wow. Yeah, here, I'll give you one. You can. Oh, the tires are fantastic. The wheels, those wheels came out beautifully. Advanced plating, they're the same people that saved your hard hat. Oh. So that's what it looks like in the, you know, so you can see right through it. That is Fabulous. But it is officially that thing. <laughs> so, and did you renew the chrome here? Or no, clean it up? that's cleaned clean it up. up. Yep. Yep. But I did hand paint all this back in all your emblem, so they yeah. popped off. Yeah, he sent me a picture of that. Because this was all, this all this black was gone, right? Right. So you hand painted every bit of that. Take a second and just marble at the grill I was able to find. Yeah, because the other one was all beat all was the hell. trash. Yeah. Wow! I wonder how many of these things they actually sold. I don't think they sold any with this paint job. That's what you think? I think this was the LA Auto Show, Detroit Auto Show, prototype, get people interested. And then, and then they, they came made out with them the other way because there's no way they would have sold this with this paint job. Why? Because it took two days to tape it out. And the other one was just angles. Right. Yeah. That would be an interesting fact to know for sure. And then here's all the rest of the interior pieces painted up pretty. Nice. This is paint? That's paint. 
Now, what kind of paint do you put on vinyl? Vinyl. Vinyl paint. Oh, I know this one. So I'm basically down to putting door handles and side windows in and trying to find the shags. I haven't done the shag yet. I'm actually dumbfounded. This is really amazing. So let me go grab that wood wheel out of the box and we can hold it up there and see how that's going to look. Hell, bring the ridge. That is really nice. All right. Yay, wow, that looks great. That's much more fun to drive. You know, what I'm looking forward to is when we do the video of putting these two together. Oh, yeah. Are you gonna drive the cruising van or the wagon over when we do that? Yeah, we should. Really fun. Yeah. All right, so how, how far away are we? Days. Days. Well, we just got the call. The van is ready. Wow. You parked it at the perfect angle, of course. Well, and the tire's at the right angle. It's all about presentation. It is. I want to see the inside now. Because <laughs> you, you kept telling me on the phone about the t uh, carpet. Oh, this is great! So this is shag carpet from where? Lowe's, <laughs> actually. <laughs> That's nice. What are they doing carrying this stuff? I don't know, but I had to buy six giant pieces to make is everything. Is this for me? Well, you can't have a creepy van without a bucket of candy inside. <laughs> you have a sick sense of humor. That is fantastic. <laughs> this is... It smells like a new car. <laughs> new carpet, new glue, new everything. So my boys can roll around in there and I don't have to worry about them picking up some weird 70s disease from a custom van that my mom warned me about. So the seats, as we said before, are the original seats and your guy recovered them and these are almost to perfection of what they were factory, right? Correct. Wow. Oh, so you did. You took one of the one of the wheel covers, correct? That was originally with the van, right? Because the bands the, oh, were that's sold the other, with That's us. the other thing. These wheels did not come with the van. Of course van. not. Right. So right. this wheel came with the van. Yes. And, and that, these are the ones that are on the model kit as well. Or we could then get the cover for this thing. I like a cover on them because then you could do something very seventies with it, and right. like the keep on trucking thing or whatever. smiley face. <laughs> right, exactly. Have a nice day. <laughs> One of the things that was really annoying about this was it was missing this guy. Ah, so I fixed it. Oh, great! So all this is nice and sexy now. Yeah, that's all beautiful. Cleaned up. It looks really great up to here. Exactly. <laughs> that's where Dave stops and Edgar and starts. Edgar begins. Right. <laughs> I love the stance of this thing with these tires sticking out just a bit. Gives it just a little bit of attitude. It's really great. We have the roof rack now, which <laughs> has been... Uh... You know, it's interesting what a little tiny detail like that does. Just that little bit of chrome up there sets, sets it off. So this is our pile of crap, <laughs> right? Yes. This this all is... came, so it's from here forward, and this all came from, in, in the, van, from the van. That is all <laughs> the stuff that you couldn't unsmell. Ah. I was going to say, you remember, I was all for keeping the original carpet. I thought it was great. But again, it looked fantastic in the dark. O only until now, out in the light. You were right, Dave. This is horrible. <laughs> it's, uh, we don't know what happened there. It's tainted, there. for sure. Yeah, it's tainted. And this is the side panel, and it's dirty. And that was this far off the floor. Oh, my gosh. I don't know how you can get I don't anything know. up there. I don't want to know. This is the, uh, this was underneath the driver's seat. Oh, no, no. Right there. <laughs> Well, now we should drive the thing. Indeed. With our little bucket of candy. Think we can get any action on that? Oh, oh. cut. Hard.
that was first drive. God, this thing's great. This is gonna be so much fun. My daily driver. Audrey's gonna love this. <laughs> I could not be any happier with the work Dave did. I mean, the stripes look just right, the paint looks just right, the mags are perfect. Uh, what else? The interior is fantastic, and plus it's clean and new. Matt and I drove the Pinto cruising wagon over to look at the van because I had a feeling that I wouldn't be able to wait to take that photo. Here we go. I'm flooring it. It's floored, Matt. Oh, it's floored. I'm afraid we're gonna shoot a rod out of the motor. <laughs> <laughs> hey, how's it going? Hi, buddy. I have a surprise in my pocket for you. Woohoo! I like it when he says that. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, here we go. Alright, so I, I think we should line this up where it, it should be like this. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, there we go. <laughs> All right, here we go. What do you think? Oh my gosh, that it's great. almost perfect. Here, come here, yeah. come here, come here, look. That's fantastic. Yeah. Yeah. Be here. Look at this. Now hold this up like this. Yeah. Now watch it, watch yeah. this. Okay, watch. Ready? Yeah. One, three, two, one. <laughs> <laughs> All that work for this one oh, moment. That's it. <laughs> we went in my garage one day and went, you know what we need to do. All right. All right. Dave, we got to do our selfie. Okay. All right. You ready? And one, two, three. Okay. Now we got to do a selfie. Okay. Oh, oh no. We're out of that way, It made the noise, but no picture. <laughs> All, right. All right. We got one of Dave going. <laughs> yeah, exactly. You do. <laughs> All right, we just haven't driven them, but you gotta drive. Yeah, we gotta. Oh God, are you putting me in the Pinto? You're driving the Pinto, man. <laughs> <laughs> so, dude, thanks. Uh, awesome van, and now it's reliving yeah, life. It's gonna have fun, and uh, so thank you. And uh, yeah, I'm driving it home today. If anybody sees me on the 101, that's me. <laughs> Why are you laughing? Nothing. <laughs> Is that good? That's good. Again, thanks everybody. Thanks for joining us, Dave. Beautiful Adios. vehicle. Thanks for making it great. See you guys. So Dave, if you remember, uh, we first got this van, you came over the very first day, and we were going through it, and we opened up the hood and found something, and uh, uh, my housekeeper washed them for you. So uh, here we are. <laughs> oh, that's fantastic. <laughs> wow, yeah. and they'll probably fit. Yeah, it was, it was size 36. <laughs> <laughs> you sure you don't want to just put them back in there? Where they belong? <laughs> Dave doesn't want his, his underwear, so we'll put them right here. <laughs> there it you is. You know that's going to get caught in the fan belt on the way home. Silence!